Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the session on uh, some parallel joint techniques like partition parallel hash joint and the nested parallel loop joint in the parallel databases. These are the techniques of interoperation parallelism. Let us move ahead with the learning outcome of this session. Uh, at the end of this session, you will be apply, able to apply the parallel joint techniques like uh, partition parallel joint and the nested loop joints for any given relations. So, uh, these are one of the interoperation parallelism technique. Earlier, we have seen uh, few parallel sorting techniques and parallel joint techniques. Uh, the videos are available for this one. You can uh, refer those one. So, today we will be talking about the partition parallel hash join and parallel nested loop join in this session. Let us move ahead. We are assuming that we have n processors P0, P1, Pn minus 1 and the two relations called uh, R and S for the join operation and uh, considering that already these are partitioned into n number of processors with the n disks. Assume that uh, S relation is smaller than the R relation and therefore, usually S is uh, chosen here for the build relation. Actually, this, um, this partitioning technique is working for build and probe. We are taking the hash functions, two hash functions we are using. So, that is hash function H1 and H2. Let us move ahead. So, uh, for the partition parallel hash join, uh, this is the scenario. You can see here that relation R is there, relation S is there. It is uh, partitioned with the hash function H1 and uh, this is also partitioned with the same hash function H1 and then later you can see that again the partition is applied with another hash function say H2. So, uh, these are again partitioned like this one and now parallelly now the operations are uh, done and every processor. So, how many number of processors are there? The number of processors are more here that is processor P0, P1 like this it goes on. So, what the processor P0 will do? It will do the uh, repartition data of R1 with repartition data of S1. It is taking the join operation here. Uh, let us elaborate more here. So, this is one of the scenario. You can uh, pause the video and observe the figure and write the scenario how the parallelism will work in this. You can see the same thing uh, depicted in another way here. Okay. So, what is the scenario here? That is uh, uh, H1 function is used as the first level partitioning technique and H2 function is used for the second level partitioning techniques. You can see here, this, this is a second level partitioning technique and later you can see the parallel join of this one. So, this partition joins with this partition here. Okay. So, uh, this join operation takes place parallelly. So, parallelly all the join operations you can uh, do parallelly all these one. So, let us talk about how the hash function H1 is there, how it is uh, doing. Uh, by the diagram you have earlier seen that uh, it is taking the join attribute value of each tuple of S which is mapping with among the N processors. So, we have uh, mapped this uh, S processor, S uh, contents of these one with among the N processors. Each processor PI is reading the tuples of uh, S and then based on uh, the mapping condition, based on the hash condition, it is sending that to disk DI wherever it is matching with and then based on the hash function. Let us say that that is SI, we are denoting that as SI which is sent to processor PI through the disk DI. So, you can see here, this is another diagrammatic representation. So, relation R is there which is uh, uh, we are taking the hash function on this and uh, that relation is uh, now built on this and it is partitioned through these many partitions. And again these are partitioned, repartitioned with this one. Okay. Now, hash function H2, what this hash function H2 is doing? As the uh, H1 function is already partitioned, this, it is receiving the data of that one, it is receiving the partition data and then further it is again applying another function H2 on that to compute the hash join locally. So, once the second uh, hash function is applied, then again it will do the local hash join operation. So, this is the scenario. So, relation R is partition, relation S is partition, 
so uh, relation s is partitioned here and again it is partitioned with another h2 function uh, one of the uh, relation is given here like ri so it is applied with uh, h2 again and that is provided to this and locally these processors are doing the hash function and where the output they are storing there is a output buffer so those the results are stored to the disk output disk here so you can see that two times the hash function is applied so partitioning and repartitioning has done in this parallel hash joint technique so uh, we have seen that every processor pi is executing uh, actually it is working on build and pro probe phases uh, the build phase is called as uh, where the relation s is uh, partition based on h1 and then probing is what once the partition has done again the same partition it is taking for the next step for probing okay uh, what the hash by hash zone optimization can be applied to in the basically for the parallel cases where it is called as the hybrid hash join algorithm it can be used for uh, caching uh, some of the incoming tuples in memory uh, in memory join operation is taking place here uh, uh, to avoid the cost of writing them into this so, so in memory only the partitions are there and again repartitioning is done in memory not in the disk to avoid the cost of writing them into the disk so second time partitioning what we are doing that we can do in memory and uh, after the join operation the results can be sent back to the disk later talking about the second technique that is a parallel nested loop join again we are assuming uh, actually this one is working like a normal uh, nested loop join where two loops are there every tuple of one relation is mapping with every other tuple of relation but one more thing parallelly what it is doing is it is one of the thing is partitioning as well as it is working on the indexing okay so see the azure scenario that relation r s is there which is smaller than relation r uh, so what we are doing r we are partitioning and we are taking the index on that r and uh, s we are replicating using the index on r we are doing the probing of that we are doing the comparison and we are doing the join operation based on that so usually here we are using the asymmetric fragment and replicate join with relations s being replicated and using the existing partitioning uh, of relation r so r is already partition and s we are replicating and we are doing the indexing on r okay you can see here so index nested loop join of s with ith partition of relation r you can see that relation r is partition so indexing is based on this one and every s is now replicated s is not partition so every s tuple is using the indexing it is mapping or it is comparing with uh, with the tuple of r and finally it is getting the output here in the parallel way uh, the major part here is it is using indexing so you can see that it is nested loop join because two loops are required one is for the outer one and one is for the inner one inner one is for the replication and outer one is you can say the partition one so for partition r1 the inner uh, inner comparison is replication of s you can see here so talking about this parallel nested loop join in detail what it is doing in this is every processor pj where the partition of relation s is stored and uh, and relation ri uh, r is also stored it is replicating the tuples of every other processor pi and at the end of this phase relation s is replicated at all the sites that are uh, stored uh, tuples of relation r and relation r is partitioned on all the other disks you can say and what every processor pi is performing it is doing the indexed nested loop join of the relation you have seen here okay here so it is applying the indexing here uh, these are the partitions of uh, relation r uh, these are the uh, relation s is replicated so every tuple of s is comparing with every other tuple of r parallelly every processor is doing this one using the indexing technique okay so the scenario is provided like this you can see here that uh, this is relation r which is partition that is these are the partitions so r1 r2 something like these one these are stored so you can see that relation uh, partitions are like these one and uh, relation s we are replicating 
on every disk. So, this is the replication process you can see. This is the uh, partitioning process and this is the replication process. So, relation S is replicated on every disk you can see on every partition. We are applying the indexing on this. So, using indexing the partition Ri is taking the join operation with the S and the results are stored on this disk. So, like this one the nested loop join is working. These are my references. Thank you.